is, is really, really beneficial to the ice, ice industry. You're going to have an on-off button, clean, menu, left area, or left arrow, right arrow, down, up, and check. Basically, when you go in, you're going to turn it on, it's going to say making ice. Okay, your machine's on, it's making 16 lines across, four down. Um, on the right hand side here, you, you can't see it now, but when you have a message, and we'll kind of talk about this, but when you go in and, and you set the timer to clean, it's going to have an envelope right here, and it's just a reminder. Clean your machine, clean your machine, clean your machine. And then on this side, if you have something go wrong with the machine, it's going to be an envelope. And basically what this does, it just it cuts down the troubleshooting for the techs when they come in. They're all going to have a USB port where they can pop it in the side, do a diagnostics on it. They can take it back out to their laptop if they have one and figure it out from there. Otherwise, they'll just kind of scroll through the menu to find out what the issue is and then they'll be able to fix it from there. On your menu here, machine info. Really basic. Now, if you want to get into this, there's brackets that go around. and you can, you can actually go online, and they have this online where you can go on and click and kind of play with it, and you can go through the whole menu. Um, but when you go in here, machine info, it's going to talk about the capacity. It's going to have the model number, ice machine head serial number, condenser serial number if it's a remote unit, and then the warranty information. If you want to go back out of that system, just hit back. And then you have a setup menu. Let's just go into that. It's going to have the language, the different languages, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese. There's parentheses right here. So let's say we're going to go up to English. You just hit that, and then it's going to highlight it. So every all of your information is going to be in English. If you want to do it in French or Spanish, you can click it down there. This is going to talk about how you want to measure your um, ice, you know, Celsius, Fahrenheit, kilograms, pounds, gallons. It's basically for some of the higher end restaurants that want their really, really nice clear cube. Um, and basically what's going to happen with that, you're going to set it, it's going to purge more water, it's going to take more water to create that really nice clear, clear cube. CD password. Um, Troy owns a restaurant. He wants to be the only one that's going to go in and program the, the ice machine. He's going to put in a four digit password. The factory default is 1234. Troy puts in 2222. He's the only one that's going to be able to come in here and navigate the system so you don't have the French fry cook coming up and it's got the, the icon on here and he's going to try and fix it. And then everything kind of gets jumbled. Clean Minder, you can come in here and set your set it to remind you to clean. So I've got it clicked in the brackets, I've got it clicked on. I want it to clean every two months, I would just come back over here and click it. So it's going to clean, it's going to remind me to clean every two months. If somebody's going to invest in an ice machine, they're going to want to have some type of preventative maintenance program where these people are coming in every six months and checking the filters and doing all this stuff for them. A lot of the restaurant owners and stuff like that aren't going to have time to focus on one piece of equipment. The AUX system, how many people know what an AUX system is? Automatic cleaning system. Basically on the side of your machine, it's just a box. And in that, you're going to hook it up to your machine. And on that box, you're going to have your cleaner and your sanitizer. Your two bottles are going to fit right in there. If you order the aux, you can set the aux timer to clean. So basically, you're not going to have to do anything. It's an automatic cleaning system. AUCS. It's just hooked onto the side of the machine. You put your bottles in, set it to clean, and you don't have to touch it. Air filter. It's going to tell you when to change the air filter. It's going to tell you when to change the water filter. The luminize. How many people know about the luminize? You're the winner. You want to explain it? Tell you. Yep. Basically on your machine, um, you have your food zone. That's where your bacteria and stuff are going to build up. Within the machine, there's a UV light that is attached to the machine, and it forces warm air, blows warm air over the food zone. Any type of sub shop, bakery, should always have a luminize. So when you're talking to people on the phone or whatever you're doing, talk to them about the luminize. There's an online video of that too. 
but it forces warm air over the food zone and keeps the food zone clean. They did a, I think a month study, put two ice machines side by side, one with luminize, one without luminize. Let's say it was a 300 pound machine or whatever, but they opened that one up that didn't have the luminize, and there's that black snot like stuff. Have any of you ever been into an ice machine where you've seen that? I mean, you can just take your finger and go like that. And on the other one, it was pretty much spotless. And that was after like a month. So anytime you can talk to somebody that, that has that restaurant bakery, it's always a good option. It's, you can get it built in, you can order them as an accessory. And basically, when it says time to clean, when it comes up here, you basically just come up with a clean one. And that's kind of neat. If you don't have, you're gonna to have to dump your chemicals in and stuff like that if you don't have the oxy stuff there. It's relatively simple. One of the new things that we're coming out with, you saw this in Napa, was the Neo, the under counter ice machine. And basically what that's going to entail is you're going to have some of these features here on the side. It's just going to be on the under counter machines, on the side of the under counter machines. So you're going to have your power on off. It's 312 and 24, or 412 and 24 hour cycle where you can set it um, clean. Basically you've got your under counter machine sitting there. It sits about this high. Before, when service techs used to have to come in and clean this thing or do any type of maintenance on it, they'd have to take the side panels on, move it, get behind it, unhook the water lines, do everything. Now they're not going to have to. Basically, with that machine, unhook a couple thumb screws on the bottom right under here and on the back, and then the whole thing slides out on a rail. And it can just sit there, or you can take the whole thing off, so that when the service tech comes in to work on it, he just slides that off and he's able to get at all the components.